said what? We're back with another one. Dropping bars. Ting ting man, you had it fun. Welcome back to the VT. And yes, I stuck with the V team because I've made it my mission to not only be victorious in every single thing that I do, but to make my victory be the influence I have upon other people's lives and be the impact that I had towards them achieving theirs. But today, ironically, we're going to be focusing on ourselves. So let me ask you a quick question. How you doing? How are you? What's up? Hey, who haunted me, yo? Unjani. Comment down below how you're feeling today and just, you know, tell me what's up. But the main reason I'm asking you this question is because a lot of people live in a position where they want something, but they just don't have it. You see, a very long time ago, I watched a TED talk from Mal Robbins titled, How to Stop Screwing Yourself Over. And by the end of that talk, I really felt like I'd been screwing myself over, you see. So I watched this TED talk from Mal Robbins and the question that was asked was, what do you want? I realized that a lot of people in this world don't actually have what they want. I'm not talking about people who are in positions where they can't because of financial conditions, economic conditions, demographics or whatever. But I'm talking about people who have the ability to work towards what they want. You're probably one of those people considering you're on a smartphone watching a YouTube video right now. But you're people who have the ability to get to what they want, but they don't have it. Why don't you have what you want? You see? And when I say, what do you want? I don't mean something like, like something that sounds good to other people. I'm talking about something that is true to you. Being healthy will not get your ass on a treadmill. Losing your man boobs so you could hook up with somebody? Now that's motivation. What do you want? Now, now that we've answered what we want, why don't we have it? You see, the thing is, we live in such an amazing point in time where whatever we want, if we want to start our own business, if we want to get fit, if we want to start a cooking channel, if we want to start online classes and non-profit organizations, go somewhere, do something, get rich, because start a six-figure business. No matter what it is that we want, you can go on YouTube, you'll find a thousand videos on it. You can go in a bookstore, you can pick out 10 books on that exact topic. You can go on Google and Google it, and you'll find like thousands of search results. You can even just stalk somebody online and you'll find out exactly how they got what they have that you want. You see? But then, why do we still not have it? Why do we still not have what we want, guys? Why don't we have it? The first reason in Mal Robbins' talk is the F word. I know you know the word. You know the F word. You've probably used it before. It doesn't make you sound very smart. It's a very short word, four letters. But this F word has been stopping people from getting what they want for years. And we're about to debunk and uncode that word so we can stop getting what we want, guys. And you know what that word is? The reason most people aren't getting what they want today is because everybody tells themselves that they are fine. Fine is such an amazing word for the individual because when you tell yourself that you're fine about your situation, you don't have to do anything about it. If you feel like you're overweight, just tell yourself you're fine with those extra 40 kgs. If you feel like your grades aren't good enough, just tell yourself you're fine with getting 50%. If you feel like man's been single for years, just tell yourself you're fine, man. Tell yourself you're fine being cold in the winter. Do you know what the odds of you being alive right now are? What the odds of your birth are? Scientists did all the research. I googled it. A bunch of pages say the exact same number. The odds of you being alive right now are 1 in 400 trillion. There's practically no chance of you being alive right now, but you are for a reason. And that reason isn't to say you're fine, guys. Fine is not a word you can use to describe your life. And the problem about fine isn't the whole social construct around it of you trying to not bore somebody with your problems or maybe to say that you're amazing and then you're afraid that they'll feel bad about it. But the problem about being fine is that you start to believe it yourself. And when you start to believe that you're fine, you don't do anything about it. You have no drive, you have no motivation, you have no push because you feel like you're fine. You're fine being overweight, you're fine being single, you're fine scraping course. Every single day you have amazing ideas that can change your life and change the world, but you don't do anything about it because you believe that you're fine. Now I'm going to talk about two things. There's the snooze button on your alarm. 
and there's activation energy in physics which is the energy required for a chemical reaction to occur. Every single person has a snooze button that can turn off that activation energy. Every time you want to do something, every time you have an amazing idea, your body automatically clicks snooze. See what happens every time you think of something, every time something comes to mind, you act. You act immediately. I know, I know, you're tired, you don't feel like it, but the real facts of our life is that you're never gonna feel like it, guys. You'll never feel like it. The only way to get things done, the only way to get what you want is to do the things you don't feel like doing. Your mind will always have reasons why you shouldn't do what you wanna do. If you wanna work out, your mind will always tell you you have something better to do. If you wanna study, your mind will always tell you you need to shower. Your mind will always make plans to take away what you want. But the thing is, we have to fight it. You have to stand up and do what you have to do to get what you want. But the challenge today is that you have to collect your thoughts and act. When you come up with something, act towards it. Don't just sit there. Don't tell yourself you're fine, but act towards it. So if you're discontent with anything right now, I challenge you to force yourself. Get out your comfort zone. Work and you'll see the difference. You will see the difference. You see, I checked on my YouTube stats and I realized that most of my viewers are between the ages of 18 to 25. And the thing about turning 18, is that nobody's telling you what to do anymore. Nobody's deciding what's best for you anymore. You have to decide for yourself. People can try and push you towards a direction, but at the end of the day, for things to work out, it has to be your personal decision. When we were younger, if we're eating too much junk food, our parents would say stop eating the junk food because they're trying to control our health and everything like that. If we're watching too much TV, they say go read a book instead. If we weren't doing our homework, they'd send us to go do our homework. But once you've turned 18, Nobody's telling you what to do anymore. The only way to get something done is for you to decide that you're going to do it yourself. And none of those things are pleasant. Why would I go eat a bean salad for supper when Demonese, Roman, Spurs are all around me? Why would I go spend hours on my books when the Instagram feed is just popping, man? When we were small, they tell us to leave things that are bad for us. But then the moment we get older, it's our own decision. And the only way you're going to make that decision work is by you to touch on that activation energy and push through what you don't want to do. Peace.